Hi, Ravi here. Today I am going to show you how to OBD scanning Toyota Diesel Common Rail with Launch X431 Scanner. I know this is not a magic. All launch users can connect to Toyota Diesel simply as we connect to other vehicle through the launch scanner. Today I am working on Toyota Highest KDH 1KD FTV engine and here you can see I am connecting to this vehicle by choosing Toyota from the vehicle list. So simple. Scanner detect the VIN number automatically and will connect to the vehicle effortlessly. Then we can retrieve DTCs and live data information for the diagnostics. In this screen you can see I am connecting to this vehicle simply. But I have been complained by most of Toyota diesel owners who come to me got bad experience due to other shops in the area were unable to read live data stream while yes. diagnosis. Let's see is that true. I choose here the model year of this vehicle as 2013 and go ahead. You can see the scanner has found the VIN number and all the vehicle details here. Nothing special, you can see we get the scanning function menu simply. I go to system selection and then powertrain. Select engine and looking forward to search any DTCs on the ECM as usual. Ok, hit on the read fault code. You can see engine no trouble codes. It should be because this is non good vehicle. Ok, let's go back and pull the live data stream on this vehicle. Hit on the read data stream. Ok, here you can see entire data list on this vehicle. Look at the bottom of the page. There are only total 23 data pits available for this vehicle. Ok, let's roll over the page and try to find important data pits which can helpful for diesel common rail diagnostics such as rail pressure, EGR information, fuel injection, etc. Nothing we can find such important data throughout this poor data list. So let's go back and reconnect to the vehicle in right way to pull the important data. I will guide you for that. Go to backward and stop in the set area selection page. Hit on the set area and then select North America as the area. This is just a trick to retrieve important data. Then select 16 pin DLC and go ahead as usual. Normally when we select Toyota default set area is Japan. For Japan selection we got poor data list for this vehicle. And then you will see vehicle identification failure and it will let us to manually choose the vehicle. Ok, choose your right vehicle from the list. In my case I choose highest and go ahead. Then select the year and go ahead. You can see vehicle information here. But wrong engine in my case. Doesn't matter, go ahead. You can get the health report as usual. I am ok with this health report and fall codes. Let's go back and pull engine related data. Select read data stream. Look, you can see here 166 data pits which should be normal around for diesel common rail EFI engine. I select all here. Look, all the important data pits are available for better diagnostics. In this way, you can retrieve more engine related live data for diagnostics. Thank you for watching. Stay subscribed with us. Hope to bring you more video about data analyzing on diesel common rail.